something to pass in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank God for this morning. I'm very much happy because we have the man of God in our midst. Today I'm not going to preach. Amen. I'm not going to preach. And anytime I'm encountering this man, I don't mind the number of times he speaks that I'm listening. I always want more. Amen. I always want more. It's not just about the word coming from him that God is speaking. But there is a life that backs the word that he speaks. Amen. The word of God that comes from him. There is a life that backs it. An experience that backs it. Amen. So today, we are going to hear from this seasoned man of God. Amen. He has been everywhere. You know him. He is not stranger to this ministry. He's no stranger to living in ministry. He's been here. I call him one of my mentors, one of the fathers of this ministry. Amen. Because he's here not only Sundays, Saturdays, Mondays, anytime we are together speaking, embossing one another. Amen. Encouraging each other. The Bible says that an iron sharpened iron. So anytime I encounter him, I tell him that I'm always encouraged to continue what I'm doing because I see what God can do. Amen. Amen. Without wasting my time, we have, as I said, a seasoned man of God. He is preached the length and breadth of the world. Amen. He's been in Africa. He's been in where? Asia. He's been in North America. I don't know whether he's gone to South America, but I know his messages are in South America. Amen. Because there are pastors that are taking the messages and using it to teach their congregation in South America. Not that I'm hearing. I know. Yes. I see evidence. 
Because I produce some of the messages that goes there. Amen. He's been in Africa, different countries. Countries that you from Africa haven't been. It's all by the work and the goodness of God. He's a seasoned evangelist yes. who preaches the power of God. Amen. Because he understands it. Without wasting my time, I don't want to take too much time. So I will bring to the podium with a round of applause and a standing ovation online and in the auditorium. Let's welcome to the podium our man evangelist coach Valkis. Amen. It's a great privilege coming to this church. Thank you, Pastor, for giving me another opportunity to come to your church and uh, preaching the word of God. Amen. And I'm greeting all of you in the church and uh, online, Facebook, YouTube watches. I'm greeting all of you in the marvelous name of Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless you these words today. I know I was asking the Lord, Lord, I have what I have to preach this Sunday. Yesterday I talked to the pastor. Pastor, can I come on Sunday today? Uh, this Sunday, I have an opportunity to come over here. He said, Pastor, yes, come over here. He welcomed me. Thank you for welcoming over here. Today, I'm going to preach a little bit about faith, power, and authority. Everybody say faith. Faith. Power, power and authority. And authority. Without faith, you cannot please God. Everybody know that. Every Christian understand that. Without faith, we cannot please God. And he is the rewarder. One who is diligently seek him. But... So many people in this, in this world, they understand the power and authority. Hello. They understand power and authority, but they are not using faith. Hello. Yeah. They are not using faith. What is the meaning of faith? What is the meaning difference between the faith and belief? Faith and belief is completely two different things. Mm -hmm. Belief means you and me and all over the world people believe something. Yes. Believe each other. Believe this chair you are sitting that will not fall you. Mm -hmm. Believe your car. Believe your family. Is that right? Believe your, this is your father and mother, you believe it, right? Yes. You don't know who is your father and mother. But we be, just believe it. And uh, you believe everything. And also your animals, they believe. Is that right? Yes. Chicken, chicken believe. <laughs> yeah, I have chickens. Chicken believe me because they, when I go there, they come to me. Uh -huh. And uh, bite on my feet. And uh, they know who, who I am, their master. I'm giving the food and water them. If somebody else go, they will far away, run away from them. Because they know, they don't know who they are. Dog believe? Uh, uh, the big animal is an uh, uh, elephant. They believe. Yes. And you know, the lion also believe the human being. You know that I saw some one man is sleeping with a well, five or six line in the between that believe uh, sleep on the uh, on the line. So they believe that is not the faith. Faith is completely different. Everybody says faith is completely different. Faith is completely different. Before I talk to you about the power and authority. You need to have faith of God. Everybody say, I have to have the faith of God. 
the faith of God. What is the meaning of faith of God? Faith in God and faith of God is completely different. Is that right? Faith of God means his faith you have to operate. Yes. Not your faith. Mm -hmm. Your belief system. Mm -hmm. When you use his faith, he believed. Jesus gave it the power and authority to the, uh, to the disciples. Jesus gave the power and authority to the believers, but they are not using it. But what, what is that meaning? They don't have faith. have faith in him. Power means, it's a dynamic, it means it's a, it's a powerful, a, a dynamic power. You know why he knew the power? First of all, you read that when the Luke chapter, uh, seven, Luke chapter 10 verse 19. You have to li li very carefully listen to that one. Luke chapter 10, uh -huh. the verse number 19. Verse number 19. Then I read yeah. from the King James Version. Uh -huh. Behold, I give unto you power. I give unto you what? Power. Power. To tread on serpents. Tread on serpents. And scorpions. Scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. All the power of the enemy. And Everybody say, all the power of the enemy. I have the power over the enemy. I have the power over the enemy. What is that meaning? The enemy has the power. Everybody say, enemy has the power. The enemy has the power. I have the power over the enemy. You have the power over the enemy. What is the Lord is given to you? He is given to you the power over power. Yes. Everybody say, I have the power over the power. I have the power over power. I have a super power. I have the super power. That power from the Lord. That power. From the I Lord. believe that way. And I believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I receive the power. And I receive the power. No, so you, why you have to receive the power? You have to use it. Yeah, the enemy bringing the, he come to steal, kill and destroy. When he comes, you have to use your power. Everybody say, I have to use the power. You have to use the power. Who's, whose power is that? Jesus' power. Power is given from him. Yes. Hello? The power is given from him. It's not my power. Because I don't have the power. That is why he given his power to me. Everybody say, I don't have enough power. I don't have enough power, have enough power to uh, attack the enemy. But that is why Hoshafa said, Lord, the enemy is great. But I don't have enough power to attack them. I don't have enough power. So Lord said, don't fight, don't worry about it. You don't need to fight. I'll fight for you. Amen. But here is Lord is saying, you don't want to, you, you have no power, I know. So I am giving you the power over the power. Everybody say, I got the power over the power. I have the power over the power. So you have to have the faith for that. So. Everybody say, I have to have the faith for that. I have to have the faith for that. Okay. Faith is completely different. Galatians chapter 3 Book of Galatians, chapter 3. It's only 22. 22. Uh -huh. Verse number 22. But the scripture? But the scripture had concluded uh -huh. all and, and the same that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. Amen. Scripture had concluded uh -huh. all under sin. What does that mean? Scripture is covered with the uh -huh. sin. Yeah. Then he is saying that the promise of the faith of God, faith of Jesus Christ, might be given, might be given to them, to them that believe. believe. Uh -huh. Are you believing? Mm. The faith is given to us. Yes, faith Lord. of Jesus. Amen. Everybody say, I am believing faith of Jesus. I am believing. Faith of Jesus. When you believe faith of Jesus, wait, faith, Jesus believed that you have the power. Amen. Jesus believed that he given you the authority. Amen. But did you believe that? 
That is the problem. Because of the redemption, you have everything but Adam lost. Whatever you lost from this world, you have everything. And also, Jesus Christ is your husband and his inheritance, all the heavenly inheritance, all everything we have it, who have to rule and reign on it? Who? Everybody say, who have to rule and reign on it? Everybody say, I have to rule and reign on it. Don't know what the enemy comes. What do you have to do? You have the power over the enemy and his power under my feet. And I have to do the authority. You know what's the meaning of authority meaning? Authority means? Delegated power. Delegated power and also <coughs> who gives the authority? Who is the author of the authority? And he given you the authority, take control. Rule and reign on that one. Amen. Okay. Before I go there, we have something I have to say about it. Okay. Power means the kingdom, kings always fight other kingdom and fight each other and if you, they uh, conquer that kingdom, other country, and that is a power. Because America is the greatest power in this world, right? That is why they are ruling most of the country. Long, long time before, you know the Great Britain? Great, they called Great Britain. Now anybody called Great Britain? No, not even Britain. London. London, England. Why? Why they lost everything? Why? Because they lose Jesus. They left Jesus. That is why. Why America is losing everything? Losing Jesus. I heard Nigeria nowadays. The biggest church in the Nigeria, about 10 or 15, yeah. they are taking the power. Amen. In African countries, Nigeria is taking over yes. power. Because most of the biggest countries in Nigeria nowadays, it means they are conquering all the evil power. And also there is a greatest man come out of the Nigeria. Preachers, right? Yes. So what I'm telling you, pastor, you are a young man. You have to use your power and authority. Your pastor and both pastors, I'm telling you. Amen. Use your power and authority. Amen. Because... Lord is, has given you the power and authority. Amen. Take over everything. Amen. Because we have the power over power. Everybody say, I have the power over power. I have the power over power. So you, do you believe that? Yes. Lord Jesus said in Matthew 28, 8, 28, 18 and 19, he said, All authority is given unto me. Heaven and earth. Therefore, go. So it means he delicates you. He given to you the authority. Yes. Authority means when the king conquer the nation, king conquer the nation, and what do you have to rule? You have to rule and reign on the country. It means you have to rule and reign on your territory. Every territory you have, your, your home, your workplace, your church, wherever you go, you Amen. have to rule and reign. The, all the situation, you have to rule and reign. Amen. Everybody say, I have to rule and reign. I have to rule and reign. Ch children, let me tell you something. 
you have to rule and reign your situation. I'm, I'm say, I'm, say after me, I'm going to rule and reign on my situation. I'm going to rule and reign on my situation. You have the authority. Everybody say, I have the authority. I have the authority. In Jesus' name, everything has to bow down. Amen. Everything has to bow down. Amen. So, you have to rule and reign. Okay, now, Joseph was in the prison. Yes. The 13th year, he came out from the prison. Pharaoh, bring him out of the prison. What is Pharaoh is saying? Can you read that one? The Genesis chapter 41. 41 41 Got it? Genesis Yeah Genesis chapter 41 verse 41 Uh-huh So Pharaoh said to Joseph Pharaoh said to Joseph I hereby put you in charge of the whole land of Egypt The whole land of Egypt he put in charge Okay, next one Verse 42 mm. Then Pharaoh took his signet ring from his finger uh -huh. And put it on Joseph's finger What? 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 He took off his He fingers. took his finger. Signature. Signature. Ring. Ring. And gave it to who? Joseph. He take the signature, uh, signature the ring and put it in his ring. So let me tell you something. When we get married, we put the ring to the wife. What is that mean? Giving the authority. Is that right? Giving the power. Giving the authority. So Pharaoh, what did he do? Did Jesus give you the ring? Yes or no? His signature ring he given to us? Yes. Why don't you use it? Ask the ask neighbor, why don't you use it? Why don't you use it? Okay, next one. Verse 42. The, uh -huh. He dressed him in robes of fine lining. Oh, wow, he dressed him? What? Ropes of fine lining. Fine lining, and then? And then? And put a gold chain around his neck. It means you make him, oh, my royalty. Everybody say he make him royalty. Make him royalty. Oh, wow. Did Jesus make you royalty? Are you a royal priesthood? Yes. He make you a royalty? Yes. Pharaoh made Joseph is a royalty. He put him in royal clothing. And royal uh, on the necklace on his neck and his uh, royal ring put him on his finger. Man, what is running over him? Power and authority. Everybody say he handing over all his power and authority to the Joseph. Did jo did they did, did did Jesus Christ give unto us everything? Yes. Where we are now. We, when the enemy attacks us, what do we do? Lord, are you looking at us? No, the enemy is attacking us. You do something. Telling the Lord, do, you do. Most of the pastors say, cry unto the Lord. Your tears are putting in the in the uh, what is it called? Your tears are putting in the in a in a pan, right? And keep it in the heaven. When the pan is filled up, and Lord Jesus Christ will answer. That is the pan preaches and preaches. Is that right? What happened to your royal uh, royal clothing? A royal crown, royal uh, ring, what happened to that? What are you doing with that? Tell me, brothers and sisters, what are you doing with that one? Are you a fool? Lord is crying, hand it over to you, everything. Next one. Baro, next one. Verse 43. Uh. He had him ride in a chariot uh -huh. as his second in command. Second in command. Hello? Joseph is the second in command. Are you the second in command in the heavenly places? Yes or no? Yes. Everybody say, I am second in command in the heavenly places. Second in command in the heavenly places. I have the power and I have the authority. I have the power and I have the 
I will use my authority. I will use my power to the scrap the power over the enemy. Today, one my brother and sister, use the power. Use the authority. Because he handed over you to everything. Next one. And people shouted before him. Uh -huh. What? And, and people shouted before him. Uh -huh. Make way. Uh -huh. Thus he put him in charge of the whole land of Egypt. And, and he tell him to make lay the knee down. People shout before him. Make way. They put him in charge of the whole land of Egypt. Next one. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, uh -huh. I am Pharaoh. I am Pharaoh. But without your word, without your, no one will lift hand or foot in all Egypt. Hello. Uh -huh. Without your, without your, everybody say without my word, without my word, enemy cannot do anything. Enemy I have the power over all the Egypt. I have the power over all Egypt. I have the power over this world. I have the power over heaven. I have the power. So who have to do that? This is very careful teaching. What is happening? Any sickness come? Anything come? You have to say, come under my feet. I am doing that one. I'm doing my doing my that one. I'm teaching the people to take in charge of everything. And in uh, which version you was reading? N I V. N I V. Okay. Yes. Can you put the N L T or King James? Uh, Twenty forty three. version of Genesis chapter 41 verse 43. 43 yeah. And he made him to ride in the second chariot which he had. And they cried before him. Uh, bow the knee. Bow, bow, what, what? Bow the knee. Everybody say, enemy has to bow the knee. Enemy has to bow the knee. Yeah, every sickness has to bow the knee. Every sickness has to bow the knee. Yeah, every problem has to bow the knee. Every problem has to because I have the power and authority. Because I have the power. You have to use your power. You are to use your authority to tell the if an enemy's problem, any any come any kind of problem come, tell them to tell it to bow down. In the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow down. Everybody say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every knee shall. Every knee shall bow. Every knee shall. And say, Jesus Christ is the Lord. Yes. Now, who is the Lord in Egypt now? Joseph. Everybody say, Joseph is the Lord in, the, in Egypt. Joseph is the Lord in Egypt. Now, we are the Lord. We are second in command. Yes. I am second in command. I am second in command. I, when I command anything, it will bow down. You have a problem of study? You have a problem of study? Say bow down. Yes. Bow down. Let me understand you pro what you, the things are going on. Everything, every situation, you have to say bow down. It has to bow down. It will bow down. And say Jesus Christ is the Lord. Next one. Okay, next one. Well, no, no, I don't want you to go there. First King, chapter 17, verse 1. 1998, I was reading this portion. I was a new in, in Christ. New in Christ. When I read this portion, I thought, what is this? He didn't pray. I, I was reading from the book of James. Say, he prayed to the Lord. Stop the rain. A three and a half years of rainstorm. I said, Lord, I didn't see he prayed any any prayer any time. Did he pray, Elijah? He didn't pray anything. But Bible says he he prayed. 
Where did he pray? And Jesus said, Go and read First King chapter 17 verse 1. Come on, read it. And Elijah the uh -huh. Tishbite, uh -huh. who was one of the inhabitants of Gilead, uh -huh. said unto Ahab, What is he? He introduced by himself. I am from Gilead. Right? I am Tishbite. What is he? As the Lord God of Israel liveth. Oh, as the Lord God Israel liveth. Before whom I Before stand. whom I am standing. To whom are you standing? Lord of Israel? Yes. I am standing Lord of Israel. Everybody say I am standing in front of the Lord of Israel. Standing in front of the Lord of Israel. Everything has to bow down. Everything has to bow down. Hey, what he said? What he said? There yes. shall not be dew nor rain these years. Ah, when I read this portion, according to my word, he said, "Lord said, right? He didn't say, Lord said, according to my word, yes. I'm telling, no rain, no dew in three in these years." I said, "Lord, I can do that. Eli, I am greater than Elijah." Because Jesus said, I am greater than Elijah. Everybody say, I am greater than Elijah. I am greater than Elijah. So I can smoke to the rain. Did you smoke to the rain any time? Yes or no? How many times did you stop it? I stopped, for, I counted 16 times. Then uncounted times. And I, I for the rainfall, I pray for two times. One is in Dallas and one is in South Africa. When I went to South Africa in 1998, uh, I asked the Pastor Ricky was taking me from um, the airport to his house. I said, what is, what is happening on the land? It's very dry. It almost looked like a uh, desert. And so he said, Pastor, for almost one year there is no rain. Everything dried up. And I said, you want to rain now? Yes. One of, uh, one of my evangelists with me, his name is called Moody Abraham. I said, Moody, come on, we put the hand uh, outside the truck. And we put that, uh, he brought the truck and we all, all our luggage is on the truck, open truck. And I said, uh, 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 stretch the hand on the outside. He stretch the hand. I said, let the rain come right now in the name of Jesus. That's all I said. You know, within five minutes, rain start. My God. When rain start, all my truck, my, 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 all, my luggage is on the truck. It's raining. I said, stop it right now. Let us reach home and then you rain forward. It's a So whose word rain before? Because you are standing before the Lord. Everybody say, I am standing before the Lord. To whom I am serving. I am serving the Lord. I am standing before him. If I say something, it will happen. Brothers and sisters, one who is watching me, use your authority. Use your power. You believe in God. You believe in him and use your power and use your authority. Yeah. Amen. Unless you not use your authority, Lord cannot do anything for you. Your words are very important. Everybody say, my words are very important. My, words are very important. my tongue is very important. Is very important. I'm going to use my tongue. And my, I'm going to use my words. We also, deeds are very important, my brothers and sisters. Now, I'm going to show it you one more verse. In the book of Esther, chapter 8, verse 8. Esther was crying unto the king. King, you do something. Haman, Haman is right there. Note, at on 13th of that day, they have to kill all the Jewish in all over the world. 126 countries they are ruling from India to Ethiopia. 
from India to Ethiopia, 126 countries. They are going to kill all the Jews in that land, every land. He make a note. Send every, every state, every country on their own language, their own words. Now, she is saying, can you, can you do something for me? Can you read, read five, and, five and six? Five and six. Esther chapter eight, mm. verse five. And said, if it please the king, uh. and if I have found favor in his sight, uh. and the thing seem right before the king, uh. And I be pleasing in his eyes. Uh, let it let it be written to reverse the letters devised by Haman. Okay, he she saying reverse the letter what he wrote, right? Yes. Did he reverse it? No. Next one. Verse six. Uh, For how can I endure to see the evil that uh, shall come unto my people? Uh huh. Or how can I endure to see the destruction of my kindred? This is the program in India. People all are crying. Oh, cry unto the Lord. Let the Lord do something. All the all the uh, political parties are killing and destroying the pastors and destroying the churches and everything. They are crying. Say cry. Who cried? Esther cried. Okay, go ahead. Next way. The verse 7. Then the king Ahasuerus uh. sent unto Esther the uh. queen and to Mordecai the Jew. Uh -huh. Behold, I have given Esther the house of Haman. I have given the house of Haman, Haman and her. And him they have hanged upon the gallows. Okay, next one. Because he laid his hand upon the Jews. Okay. The verse 8. Verse 8. Everybody listen very carefully. Verse 8. This is an important like an important word from the king of Ahasuerus. Our king of king, what he said, exactly the same thing he is telling. Okay, go ahead. Write ye also for the Jews. Write you also for the Jews. Uh -huh. As it's like you. As it is like you. What? What is it? Whatever you like, you write it. Whatever you like it, you write it. Everybody say, I have to write whatever I want it. You write with your tongue. I'm writing with the tongue. Everybody say, I'm writing with my tongue. I'm writing with my tongue. Okay, go ahead. In the king's name. In the king's name. Do you have the king's name? Yes. Which king? King of kings. King of kings. Why he is king of kings? Because we are kings. And he is the king of kings. Yes. And you are writing in his name. Everybody say, I'm writing in his name. I'm writing in his name. Whatever I want it. Whatever I want. It. Okay, go ahead. And seal it with the king's ring. Uh huh. And seal it with what? With the king's Do you have the seal of the king's ring? Oh, oh God. And next one. For the writing which it's. Is written in the king's name. Okay, if you something written in in his name, and no one cannot. Reverse. No one cannot. Reverse it. Say everybody say if I say something, no one cannot reverse it. If I say something, no one can reverse it. So what are you going to do with the, your problem? If I say something in the king's name, everybody say, if I say something in the Jesus name, if I say something in Jesus' name, it will be established. It will be established. That is, I'm sealing with Jesus' name. Are you believing in that one? Can you use your power and authority? Did Jesus say, whatever you want to ask in my name, it will be done for you? Is it written there? If you don't know, go and read John chapter 15. Read all of the stuff. He said, if you ask, if you want anything, anything, ask in my name, it will be done. You will do more than what I did. You ask anything. That's what the king has said, right? You write whatever you want it. But you like it. You write it. 
in my name, in Jesus' name, in the King's name, and seal with the seal, seal with the ring. We have the name of the Lord, and we have the seal of the King, and we seal it. And that tongue, whatever you said it, and no one can, you cannot reverse it. Do you can reverse whatever you said it? Do you can reverse that one? No one cannot reverse whatever you said it. If I said so many times, I I go through my when I meditating my messages. Ah, Lord, did I say that one? I cannot reverse it. May Lord bless you this words. You go and today onwards use your power and authority. May God bless you these words. Amen. You can do it, man. You can do it better. 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 God bless you, Pastor Coach. What do we say to Pastor Coach? With a clap offering, let's bless the name of the Lord for his life in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. This is a loaded word. Amen. This is a loaded word. Yes, and I love it. Anytime he comes in, anytime we meet, there is a sheet. Amen. Yes. There is a sheet to go with it. And this, this are number, these are my copies. That's why he left it. <laughs> Amen. This is how, how he left it. And um, in my adage, there is a saying where I come from, in Africa, they say, they said, if the grown-up bathes or takes a bath, then it means that the water in the house is finished. Amen. What does it mean? It translates that when the grown-up speaks, when the grown-up speaks, nobody else is supposed to utter a word after that. While she was speaking, the Holy Spirit hinted in my spirit that added. Why is it that when the grown-up speaks, nobody needs to utter? In other words, what the grown-up says is what is established. So when you say in the name of the grown-up, it is established, whether he likes it or not. So grown-ups don't bring anybody at all around them. Or no, it's not just anybody that becomes the mad piece of the grown up. Because if they make a mistake and they speak ill, the signal of the grown up backs it and it's supposed to be done. King Ahasuerus said that you, Esther, do as you will and back it with what? My seal. Assuming if Esther had decided to do evil. It means that the king second it. Pastor Coach, we pray for your life. Power, authority, and faith. So Jesus said in the book of Mark, the chapter number 11, I always quote this scripture. That whatsoever you ask, if you believe, you shall receive it. The translation, you shall hold on to it. Why? If you believe. We are believing. The word used there is having faith on Christ. If we ask and we have faith on the one who has given us the signet ring, has put in us on us a robe, made us a royal priesthood, then everything that we have heard spoken about this is a loaded way. He has prayed. At the right time, I'll take my time and dissect. And that's, I'm saying it because he's giving me authority on that. He said, he will tell me, take your time, take whatever I say and preach it. Not one, always. That's why he brings me this. Amen. He said, take your time and preach it because he knows I can preach. 
He knows. I can preach the word of God. I want you to pray. We are not praying, God, do it. We are going to speak. When we are beginning the service, I said, don't speak anything that anybody will understand. Forget about anybody. You know what you want. Edify yourself and speak mysteries unto God. Speak and put to shame the plans of the enemy concerning your life. And as you speak in the name of Jesus this morning, we have just been reminded that when we declare in the name of Jesus, not that it is supposed to be done. If it is not done, there's an error. Because that is the word of God. And it will not go back to God without accomplishing. If you speak, as long as it is in the sovereign will of God concerning your life, in the name of Jesus, maybe it is just a matter of time. It will not come immediately. But it shall surely come to pass. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to remove some obstacles out of your way. In the mighty name of Jesus, Asha Valley. Pena Tatapa, so Belegapaya. Pelega Tabada, pray somebody. Beleno no Mosa. Fan Fata, Fane Meka Palia. Leba Tata Pale Meka Palabaya. Rakoto Soto for the Fatahas. Pelega Tata no Botopodonta. I speak in the name of Jesus over your life that you will be the head and not the tail. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that you will see yourself in the highest place. In the name of Jesus, Apollo Shabada. Yapala, then about the bag, ye malaba, ye palaba fada, ye kapalaba, ne mana chapalaba, raka poline metaya. I decree may every obstacle, every machinations of the enemy bow to your presence, bow to your coming, bow to your rising up in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare be kapaya every obstacle, every limitation, every machination in the name of Jesus. Concerning your life, uh, may it bow to your presence, uh, may you bow to your rising up, uh, may it bow to your rising up, uh, may it bow to your rising up, uh, everything fighting you, I decree in the name of Jesus, that may it go down, I speak uh, in the name of Jesus, and I sign it off uh, with the name of Jesus, with the authority invested in me, uh, as the man servant uh, of this all. May every limitation uh, be run away. I decree and declare be every sickness in your body in the name of Jesus be healed right now in the name of Jesus be every sickness be healed be every sickness be healed be every sickness be healed in the name of Jesus every chronic sickness I speak to your foundations may you be withered in the name of Jesus I cast your foundations in the name of Jesus, I cast your foundation. Every shortcoming, I cast your foundation. In the name of Jesus, every unfruitfulness, I cast your foundation. In the name of Jesus, may you begin to bear fruit. May you begin to bear fruit. May you begin to increase. I speak under the authority. In the name of Jesus, that has been signed to me. In the name of Jesus, may your fruit begin to show. May your fruit begin to show. In the name of Jesus, may your fruit begin to show. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you for this morning. We pray that whatever has left your man's servant, oh God, may you replenish. In your name, we pray. May you replenish, Lord. Your word declares that as the years, so shall our strength 
I decree and declare in Jesus' name, Father, may you increase him and give him strength in the name of Jesus as he continue to preach your word. Lord, may it be evident in his life that you are with him in the name of Jesus. I'm speaking on your behalf, God, and may it come to pass in the name of Jesus. For that is what we want to see. And it shall come to pass. And you, God, will cause your light to shine on it. I pray. May your light shine on that which we pray. In the name of Jesus this morning. Thank you. In Jesus' name. And may all the saints say amen. 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 receive the benediction. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shalom. Online church, peace be unto you. Amen.